Hey everyone, so I'm really excited because I'm starting a brand new series of lessons in the virtual studio and I wanna invite you personally to join me in the studio and I'm gonna give you five reasons why using drones as your impetus for learning is gonna be a great time to one, jump into the studio and two, to use just in general for your musicianship all the time. One, it, using drones helps develop a grounded sense of pitch. You can tune intervals against one another, you can hear keys against a bass note, so that ties right into number two, which is improving intonation in a major key and a minor key in totally uh, free keys, meaning you're playing in many keys at once. It's not just one thing. Three, it's going to help using intonation in etudes and other written materials, being able to play it against a bass note. You can use them for helping you to get focused in on your warm up. And number five, you can also use as an improvisational backing track to generate creativity. So if you want to learn more, you got to join me in the studio. So let's dig a little deeper into these different ideas, and I want to talk to them uh, and explain them a little bit more since we've got more time. Uh, so one, developing a grounded sense of pitch. What that means is you are developing your sense of being able to hear a bass note all the time, you know, and tune against it, whether it's a little sharp or a little flat, you're just hearing the relationship between the pitches. So playing in tune and playing with great intonation is something that really helps you if you want to be a freelance player, if you want to be hired by people to play in a group, especially if it's got many horns, especially if it has weird instrumentation, being, a, being somebody that can play in tune most of the time, I won't claim that I play in tune 100% of the time, but most of the time is a really strong asset to have. So I encourage you uh, to use drones for that reason, to develop that grounded sense of pitch. Because sometimes when we're playing by ourselves, it tends to drift. We either get sharper or we get flatter relative to ourselves. So it helps give you that grounded sense of pitch. Number two, it improves intonation in any key or within the internal relationships of a key. What do I mean? So a G natural in the key of G is in a different place on a trombone than it is uh, in E flat. It's also in a different place than A flat. It's also in a different place than in D flat major. So being able to tune against a bass note and also tune in a key and hear where notes are supposed to be in a given key is really great and it's also really good to use against a drone. So it improves intonation in any key, whether it's a minor key, major key, hearing the minor third versus major third, where does it go, hearing how a note changes where it should be, a little sharp, a little flat, based on the bass note, and based on whether it's a major key or minor key is an important skill, because if you just say, I can play my C directly on zero, that's not playing in tune. That is playing to zero on a, on a metronome tuner. Uh, that's not actually playing in tune. So this will teach you to play in better in tune regardless of the situation. Number three is using drones with etudes. So when you put it in an etude, put a drone with an etude and you have a pitch center. One, it helps, like we said, re with relative pitch to the key, but also it keeps you honest and you don't drift. I know this is kind of related to numbers one and number two, but we put it and use it in context of a tune, in context of an etude, to help us hear globally in tune. And maybe even, this is not one of the, the five tips here, but maybe even it will help you to develop a sense of almost not perfect pitch, but like knowing when something feels off, knowing when something feels like, maybe that feels like it's a little sharp, or maybe that feels like it's a little flat. It'll give you an idea by using um, some, some regular tuning that's actually in tune bass notes and then you can start to hear the keys on top of it so uh, it's developing that internal sense of pitch in a in a more deep way you can feel it you know uh, when i was uh, starting to record the lessons in this course i was thinking about feeling the vibrations i keep i'll keep talking about it throughout the course you feel the vibrations of the intervals you feel where the notes should go and it helps you to play in tune you have to kind of feel it as well as hear it Number four, it's a great tool for warming up. There's a bunch of exercises that we'll go through uh, that'll help you not only warm up your creativity and your horn playing, but your ears as well. So it's great to use drones for warming up. And number five, uh, going a little deeper on this improvisational tool is I'm gonna play a bunch of games in this course where uh, we're gonna use the drones to be the genesis of these improvisation games or whatever you wanna call them, exercises. I like to call them games because it's supposed to be enhancing your creativity, bringing your creativity to the fore, and really um, making it fun and interesting. So 
that's five ways to use drones. That's five ways that will hopefully help you to uh, use the drones to better your intonation. So if you wanna enroll in the course, and I really hope you do, it's part of the virtual studio uh, that you can enroll in either as a subscriber or uh, just for this one standalone course. So the links are gonna be down below. Go ahead and head on over there. Uh, the school is called the Institute for Creative Music, which is my nonprofit. And so this kind of falls under the teachable.com studio uh, for my, the Institute for Creative Music. So when you see those names, don't be afraid. They're my courses. You'll see my picture. Uh, so don't worry, you're in the right place. So we can't wait for you to be there. And one really awesome thing that I love about the studio is that we have this virtual studio Facebook group where people post videos of themselves playing and then I can give them feedback and then you can give them feedback. You can encourage one another and we just have a great community of trombone enthusiasts, trombone lovers, trombone professionals that are all practicing similar things at the same time and maybe practicing stuff that you already did and inspires you to go back and do it again. So I hope you'll uh, enjoy getting into this drone course. And uh, so not only will you get all the lessons in the course, but you'll also get uh, handouts that go along with it, which eventually is gonna become a book. So you'll have this book before anybody else and uh, you'll have all the drones. So we're gonna use different sounds uh, and have um, three or four packs of 12 key drones so that you can use your favorite ones. Um, they're also gonna be on Spotify and Apple Music and all the places so you can um, stream them wherever you are, uh, use them as a teaching tool, whatever you need to do. Uh, they'll be all access for your use once you're inside of the course. So once again, you can subscribe to the monthly subscription and get new lessons all the time, or you can kind of just dig into this drone course. Both links are gonna be down below. I can't wait to see you on the other side. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.